Hi, this is Rachel, obstetric nurse, and I'm here today to discuss how to know that you are in the right location to feel a cervix. So basically how to know that what you're touching is truly cervix and not just a vaginal wall. What I would do would be to um, make sure that you have a preceptor or someone that you're working with as being a new nurse um, and that you go into the patient's room and make sure that the bed is in the right height for you. Make sure that the lights are on if you need them. Try to um, find patients who are comfortable either by epidural or just um, you know in a stage in that part of the process. And once the patient is in the position, the bed's in the position, the lights are on, you've found the vagina and you are ready to advance, um, would be to definitely use two fingers because that's how uh, we measure cervix once we do reach it. Going into the vagina with your palm up, fingers up, and then you're um, accessing the va vaginal wall, which again, before you get to the cervix, it's going to feel tight, it's going to feel um, strong, you're going to feel a circumference because it's more of like a tunnel, so you are going to be able to feel that, but that's not necessarily the cervix. And so once you do finally feel what you think could be the cervix, um, once you get your finger, you'll feel an opening. So um, uh, basically it's at, at the long end of this tunnel, you'll feel what would feel like an opening. Um, you may feel baby's head behind that. You may feel a bag of water behind that. You may not feel anything behind that, but basically um, you'll get one or two finger in, maybe even more. Um, or another thing you'll feel is as the mom is more dilated, let's say seven, eight or nine. And then you, what you could be doing is you're running into the baby's head. Um, but if you were to spread your fingers and go on the outside of the baby's head, you would be able to feel something around the baby's head. And um, it's not the vaginal wall, but it's more of something that has got a lip to it. So um, that would be the cervix. Um, and then make sure that once you get to what you think is the cervix, um, sometimes you may only be able to get one finger in the cervix, um, but it is a wonderful feeling when you finally do feel the cervix because um, sometimes it will feel like, uh, like let's say it's a deflated, deflated water balloon or balloon that um, has a hole in it. And then if you put your finger in the hole of that balloon, you, the outside of the cervix feels pretty similar, especially if the patient is pretty thinned out or, um, or if the effacement is higher in number. So um, let's say that they are 80% uh, effaced. That means that that cervix is pretty thin. Um, and so when you're able to get your fingers in there, then you, and you can kind of move them apart, it's going to feel more like that balloon consistency where um, it's thinner, thin like a piece of paper, where um, you can kind of move it around a little bit. So um, it'll be more stretchier. You can move your fingers um, up and down and side by side. But basically, um, it'll feel different than the vaginal wall, which is pretty tight and that's a, a strong muscle. And so um, if you can, and when it will happen, because it will, when you do finally touch that cervix, um, make sure that you uh, take your time and that you feel comfortable and that you've been in that area long enough to where you can give um, a good measurement to the nurse beside you or to the doctor at the desk or wherever. Um, just make sure then that you are talking it through. Um, have the nurse next to you like the first couple of times. Let her do the check first, the precepting nurse. Let her tell you, I think the patient's three or four, eight or nine, you know, um, and then that way when you go in, you have something in your head visually to kind of go in and say, okay, I'm going to be feeling for an opening that feels this wide. So then that way, that's something that you're going in feeling for. But then there's gotta be a point in your nursing um, early days that you decide that you're gonna go in and you wanna try to tell the nurse, your preceptor, what you think the cervix is um, once you find it and once you feel comfortable trying to measure it. Basically what you'll wanna do is just try to remember a couple things. One, you wanna make sure that you are communicating and talk, talk, talking. So whether it's to um, 
your preceptor, your nurse that's with you, or another nurse that's on the unit, or the doctor. Just be descriptive. Um, be, you know, just give as much information as you can. I can feel what I think is the cervix. It feels thin, it feels thick. Um, I can feel it up on top, but I don't feel it on the bottom. You know, there's um, lots of different things to say. But um, most importantly, if you don't feel it, or you think you feel just the vaginal wall, say that. It's okay to admit that you don't know or that you don't feel it. Um, it's better to say that you don't feel it if you truly don't than to guess or to make up something um, only to have your nurses, they may think that you don't know what you're doing or you don't know what you're feeling. So um, if you don't feel it, it's okay. So all that means is that you need more practice. So practice, practice, practice. That's my second tip. Make sure that you are talking to your nurses on the unit and asking them, is it okay if I do all of the cervical checks today? Um, you know, if there's a couple of different laboring patients, then just go up and down the hall and, and ask if it's okay with those nurses. And when it's time to go do the cervical check, just run in there with them and, and go alongside them. Um, you're never going to get uh, very good at doing what you uh, love until you love what you do. So you got to make sure that you are getting practice and practice and practice and talk, talk, talk to those nurses around you and make sure that um, you both are on the same page. Um, and so I guess that's it really. Just make sure that you're talking, that you are admitting if you don't feel something um, and then to describe what you're feeling, you know, in detail so that you and the other nurse can be on the same page. If you only get your fingers halfway up into the vagina, then you may not be at the cervix yet. And so just tell them that. Um, sometimes the cervix is really posterior and so you may not even be able to get a feel on it and get a touch on it. But sometimes it's um, much more anterior. You go in, you feel it right away, and you just know. So um, be positive, uh, be excited, and throw yourself a really big party once you do feel the cervix for the first time because it's an amazing, amazing accomplishment, and you did it, and um, just is going to make you a better nurse in time, and uh, and I think you'll get it. So if you like this video and you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.